off for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. All right, so you're getting ready to go uh, enjoy the summer and you want to go swimming and you say, nah, I don't think I want to go swimming because I got these varicose veins and they look ugly. Or you may want to go for, a, you want to go dancing with your husband or you want to go to an event and you want to wear a very nice dress and you say, oh, I really can't because my legs, are, they're ugly. Okay, hi everyone, I'm Sam LaSan. Today we're gonna to talk about varicose veins and you do not have to worry about them anymore. Listen to what I just said. You do not have to worry about them anymore. I'm here with Dr. Ulio Cauldron at the Wellness Center, the Hazelton Wellness Center, and we're gonna talk about varicose veins today. Interesting for all of you. So, for those of you who are suffering with varicose veins or have those problems, don't wanna go swimming with your bathing suits, don't wanna go dancing, don't wanna go out for dinner or embarrassed, you have to wear the black socks, whatever the case may be, we may have a solution for you today. Hey, my friend, how are you? Good on you. Thanks for having me. I'm excited about this show uh, because there are a lot of women out there and men who are suffering from varicose veins that really, uh, from what I understand with this procedure you have, really don't have to worry about that. Before we get into varicose veins, the, the fact that it is a vein disease and whatever, uh, a little bit about yourself. I know you were on the Sam LaSan show before, but for those of us tuning in uh, about this good Dr. Julio Caldron. Yes, I move in from Texas. I'm a board certified vascular surgeon, and we've been here since September. Uh, I'm married with a beautiful, beautiful surgeon, Dr. Dennis. Uh, you've seen him before, and we have a small baby, 15 months, and we're doing great right now. Well, uh, let me just say this, and without uh, patronizing you, I've, I've, I hear a lot of great things about you. Thank you. And as I've said many times, we have great doctors here, folks. This guy comes very highly recommended. I'm telling you this. Uh, and uh, we'll be talking at further shows about the, the uh, doctors we have in, in, in our area. Uh, and uh, congratulations anyway to you on the on your success that you've been doing so far. Thank you. Now, varicose veins, as I mentioned to you before, let's talk about what are they? So, basically your body has two systems of pipes, arteries and veins. When your heart beats, it has to bring the blood down to your tissues, your feet, and then it has to return back to your, to your heart through the veins. The veins usually has valves inside, so when the blood is going up and you're standing, the valves should prevent the blood from pulling down. Sometimes with age and you know um, some genetic predisposition, those balls get defective, and that's where the blood start leaking down and pulling down, creating tissue swelling and heaviness in the legs. Those can translate into big veins or, or varicose veins. Okay, so now uh, does this does this happen to uh, anyone who is um, does a lot of exercising, does running, or, or or just on their feet? I mean, is it for a particular pe person that people has... People that are more susceptible are people that are, are working standing all the time because it, it's caused by venous pressure. The gravity pulls down the blood and it creates the swelling. Uh, exercise is a good way of decreasing swelling in the legs because the main pump action of the muscle is the calf. When you squeeze your calf, it pushes the blood up. But even though with those great muscles, you can have the defective balls, and even though it has the varicose vein or the swelling, leg swelling, aches, and heaviness. So, in other words, if if you're if you're doing exercising now, is this walking, jogging, or or what kind of exercise? Are you Any kind of exercise is good as long as you dedicate yourself at least half an hour a day of it, and walking or running, whatever it suits you, is is good to improve your overall health condition, you know. When you say varicose veins uh, is a symptom of a vein disease, yes. now w w when I hear vein disease, I get a little nervous. So vein disease is, uh, well, we're talking about this, it can be related from little spider veins to the big varicose veins. When you have a vein disease, it means that your veins valves are not working properly and the veins get bigger uh, bulging can cause swelling. The worst case scenario is that you can develop leg ulcers and those are hard to treat and difficult to cure after you have an ulcer in your legs. All right, so when we, we, we talk about, uh, is this 
primarily women. Um, would I mean? No, I know there's some men who had the surgeries uh, on on their varicose veins, but is it primarily women? Well, I think <coughs> what we had to look at is is most of the women comes to look for help. I, I'm sure there's a, almost the same predisposition, men and females. Uh, Females are more affected with because of the hormone cycles. Every time you get pregnant or have a have a baby, your varicose vein can get worse because every time your hormones are acting in your body, your your tissues get elastic and then can create more uh, distension or, or growth in the size of the veins. When uh, we're talking about over 25 million people, uh, Americans who have who suffer from this vein disease, okay, um, sometimes you know uh, it, it, you may start seeing it. When should you address it? Well, anytime you have the bulging veins and you have the aches, the heaviness, you should see a, a consultation because some of the Sometimes we just can prescribe you some support stockings and that can be enough just to prevent further disease. And prevention is the, is the, main, the main option here. We have to prevent you from progressing to the severe disease that can be related to ulcers. And, and that's the main game here. Okay, now some people out there have let this, you know, have let it go because they've learned to live with it, okay, mm -hmm. and um, now, but there are certain kinds, for example, there could be varicose veins, as we'll show some before and after pictures here, of the leg, okay, mm -hmm. but there are also some people that have it in, uh, uh, on the foot or the back of their, I mean, the, the blue, uh, the blueness in the, the veins there. The blueness in the, in the ankles, yeah, behind the, the ankles, it's, it's, it's all related to back pressure, the, 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 feeling of the veins down there. So when you're standing, all the back pressure is, is pushed all the way down and your varicose vein or the spider vein behind the ankles can get bigger and you can have the bluest discoloration. When you have a, a phlegmatia or, or tattooing of the skin, that's permanent. And that means that you have a, one of those veins that got inflamed and broke down and create a, a little tattooing in your skin. And those is hard to it cannot be reversed, let's say it that way. We can prevent it from happening again, injecting some of those veins or treating the venous reflux disease, as we call it, to prevent that from keep going on. How, do, how does that happen? From the actual ver varicose veins? From the varicose vein or the little veins, they break down. The, the blood has iron on it, and the, when the blood breaks down, it, it goes into the skin and creates like a tattooing on the skin. Uh -huh. So okay, so if you have that, uh, some of those veins, and you and you do have some varicose veins in your leg, yes. okay, if you get them taken care of now, we're going to talk about the procedure, what that happens, but if you get them taken care of, will it then, even though it's it's you have that bluing of the veins, will it subside? It, the the discoloration <coughs> depends on if you're to, talking about the brown discoloration or just the blue. The blue. The blue it would decrease, and we can inject those small veins to make it disappear. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you I thought you said it was permanent. When there are two discoloration, there's a one that when your veins breaks down, it creates like a brownie tattooing of the skin, mm -hmm. and that's phlegmatia or stasis dermatitis, and that is permanent. Okay. Yes. All right, so the best thing is right now, as I said, there are many people that would like to enjoy, not that you want to put your bikinis on, but you know, but women are, are very conscious, and I can understand why. So sometimes they have to condition themselves. They can enjoy mm -hmm. the summertime or the swimming or in the wintertime, you know, if they want to go out and put a nice dress on. Same thing with, with the males. Not, I don't think uh, that many males, you know, unless they're really severe, but primarily women are yes. concerned about that. So what comfort then do you have for me, uh, you know, no matter what, now, okay, let's talk about age. Mm -hmm. uh, what if you're in your 60s, okay? Mm -hmm. that, there's, there's not an age limitation. You need the full vascular exam before doing this procedure for vein. We have to what does that con uh, exam consist of? Consists of checking your pulses, making sure that you don't have any blockage in the arterial side before considering <coughs> repairing your venous uh, problems. Uh, because it's very important to get a full exam, making sure that you don't have any uh, blockage in the arteries before getting all these. Which is a good thing to begin with. Yes. Okay, so you do a vascular exam first. Yes. Okay. What if you did find a blockage? Well, if you have blockage, we are very hesitant to 
treat those veins unless they are too big or they are causing like venous ulcers because it's a combined disease. And you, you should not be treating varicose disease in a patient with blockage because you may use those veins later on for, for bypass or other procedures. Okay, so you're very thorough. Yes. Okay, and that's what I heard about you. You're a very thorough person, uh, which is which is good. But again, it's always good to know whether you do have any blockages, yes. right? <clears throat> okay, so now I have a, not me, but uh, a person has a severe case of varicose veins. Mm -hmm. And they say, uh, you know, these are beyond, uh, there's nothing you do with these. These are these are disgusting. They're, they're big. You know, what am I going to do? So first of all, you get a physical exam. We'll see what what is your level of venous insufficiency. A good test for, to check for, for your veins is a venous duplex. We're gonna check uh, for the reflux disease, the size of the veins, uh, what is causing those veins to backfill with blood. And that way we can direct a therapy for it. Are they dangerous to your health? Usually, varicose veins means that your veins are incompetent. It can cause the minor symptoms like swelling, aches, or heaviness. It can turn into a bad medical condition when you have a bad phlebitis or a bad varicose vein disease can develop an ulcer. And those ulcers are a bad medical condition. They are hard to treat and takes a long time to cure them. Okay, all right, so I was talking about ages, okay? What are the ages that you know you should, you know, you're okay to have this procedure? There's no limit in ages. You know, some people have been uh, uh, postponing their, their yeah. treatment for many years, and it doesn't mean that they cannot have it. They just need a full physical exam to measure the benefit. So if I'm, if I'm uh, late 50s, or if I'm early 60s, or if I'm early 70s, 70s. because I, I mean, yeah, 70s, a lot of great looking people out yes. there. So. If you're functional, you're, you know, we just want to increase your quality of life. Yes. And that's the bottom line. If we can make you <coughs> feel better without the heaviness or the aches and prevent some phlebitis, we, we should do the procedure and, and do a full exam of it. All right. So, okay, I, I have varicose veins. I'm at home and I'm, I, I know I have them. Uh, and age doesn't make a difference whether you should do. So then I, I will call and folks will put the phone number on the screen uh, so you can call just, just to get information on it, okay? Uh, it's, um, it's, I just saw the, the procedures uh, on, on, on the DVD. And it's amazing when you see the before and after. I, I know many years ago, there, I mean, there was, there was this to be an involved operation, right? Yes. Many years ago, we used to do stripping. We yeah. will just go in and, and pull the whole vein out. Yeah. Uh, some people later complain about <clears throat> residual pain from the stripping. And now we know that with laser, we can close most of the veins, you know. What about any uh, after effects or, or things that may happen from the laser? I mean, could it, could, it, could it affect my nerves? Could it have neuropathy? Could I get different things? Okay. So we basically treat the, with laser uh, the veins that is in the high tide to stay away from a nerve that is called the saphenous nerve that goes close to the vein in the below the knee. That way we prevent that area of getting irritated, getting that uh, irritation of the nerve that can be permanent if we damage that nerve. One complication of this procedure is causing a, a deep vein thrombosis. That's why we do it on the ultrasound to stay away from the, your deep vein system. And that way we prevent this from happening. And that's, that's a, a concern that some people have, okay? So now you take all the precautions that your, your percentage rate is very high that you're not gonna do the damage to the nerve. Yes. Okay, uh, and that's uh, so far you've been so successful. So far success has been and no complication at all. Okay. All right, so folks, if you just tune in, I'm talking to Dr. Julio Cauldron here at the Hazelton Wellness Center, and we're talking about varicose veins. And I know for a fact uh, how sometimes you get troubled where you, know, you may wanna enjoy uh, swimming, you may wanna go out and you know there's beautiful dresses, or for that matter, men, uh, who have varicose veins, okay, uh, uh, not as uh, sometimes as important as the women because they really want to look good. And, and I think from what I've seen, <clears throat> some of these before and afters, uh, doctors, really no reason to, to have these veins if, you, if they could ta be taken care of. There's no, there's no reason to, to <clears throat> suffer from varicose veins. Uh, I think the most important is that you need a full physical exam and an ultrasound study. All right, so if 
All right, I have some varicose veins. Uh, I'm going to call the number on the screen. When I call you, what do you tell me? Well, they're going to give you an appointment for a full evaluation. The first appointment, I'm going to check what is your concern. We're going to see what kind of disease, if it's from the smaller spider veins to the bigger varicose veins, even venous ulcers. We can help increase the, or the speed of the healing process by treating those veins. Uh, after that physical exam, we're going to set you up for an ultrasound study to completely evaluate your veins in your legs. And then after that, we're going to have a game plan to treat your veins and make you look better and feel better about okay. them. All right, so now all this stuff, folks, is really does not hurt at all, right? This is just well, an it, you're going to have some aches, but it's fine, or the, the yeah. symptoms, and you use uh, anesthesia, local anesthesia, when we're doing this procedure. Well, we'll talk about the procedure, but I mean, the preliminary exam, okay, you're just examining, putting the ultrasound. But there's no pain in those exams yeah. or the ultrasounds. Well, because, you see, you're always worried about the unknown, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you know, when you talk about a vein, it's like back surgery or spinal surgery. I mean, unless you really fully understand what's going on, Doc, you have these, yeah. you have these concerns. These are procedures are done in the office. In our ambulatory, you come to the office and everything is done from the office. There's no need to stay in the hospital or any other in, more invasive. So you're doing them right here at the office. Yes. All right. Now, I've called you. I've came. I come in. You take a look at my veins, and you know, and you say, okay, fine. You go to the procedure, and you say, uh, or you go through all the preliminary mm -hmm. procedures. Now it comes time for the procedure. Describe exactly what you'll be doing. So basically, the, the day of the procedure, you come to the office, we're going to give you a, a, some light sedation pills so you're not stressed for the procedure. Then we're going to we'll give you some short paper shorts. We're going to prep your leg that we're treating. And then we're going to numb the area that we're going to put the catheter in. Mm -hmm. And with a needle and ultrasound, we advance a wire and a catheter. We visualize the catheter away from the deep veins, and then we separate the vein from the tissues next to it with the, what we call tumescent solution. It's a solution of uh, saline and some lidocaine to prevent it from ex expanding the, 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 the thermal or the heat from the, from the laser to the tissues around it. And after that, after that is placed in, it just takes one minute to finish the procedure. Now, what happens? Then you're just going to wear your support stockings and you go home. Uh, we're going to repeat the follow-up study to make sure that the vein is closed and there's no other problems in your veins. And any other veins, we're going to wait a couple of weeks and then we can do sclerotherapy or injection on the other smaller veins that are still bothering you. Okay, so if I have a major, uh, how many veins could you do? Uh, basically, with the laser, we treat the main vein, and after that, we we treat the little veins that are bothering you or still bulging, and we can inject a solution on those, and those with the solution we just close them. Okay, when I look at some of these before, and I see all these all these veins here. Okay, is that actually one vein that's all swollen up? This vein is all swollen up, and it's coming from the top, so it's back pressure building up in that vein. Okay. So after you close the vein here, there's no more back pressure. So you see how okay. it decreases in size. And we'll show you that, folks. What I'm looking at is a before and after, mm -hmm. okay? And this happens to be a male, right? Yes. Okay. And here's a female, right? Before and after, okay? And and, and you see a lot of this. Yeah. And, and you notice that they decrease in size. And yeah. then there's some little veins that you can touch up those with sclerotherapy. Yeah. All right. Now, this is on the leg. You, you sh uh, uh, The foot is another story, right? Yes. Now, this new system, this uh, Venacure system, Venacure system, uh, wh when was this developed? I mean, I mean, this is something new. It's been on the market more than seven years already. Uh -huh. It's been, the, it's been like everything else evolving. Yeah. So now they have these new small fibers uh, that actually just use thermal, uh, use heat to close the vein and decrease the the spread of the heat around the vein. So everything is evolving, and the therapy is so so well developed right now that. It, there's minimal complications from okay. it. Folks, uh, we're going to take a break. I'm talking to Dr. Ulio Cauldron here at the Wellness Center, and we're talking about varicose veins. And what I'm going to tell you to do right now, I know most of you out there know someone, or maybe you yourself, 
are suffering from the uh, or have these varicose veins and cannot enjoy uh, the summertime, the swimming, or your bathing suits, or whatever, or even in the wintertime, fall, where you know you you want to go out and have a beautiful dress, or you know men are suffering and they have pains. We come back. We'll talk a little bit more about this procedure. It's been around, but now it's starting to become very popular. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Sam Lasant Show, folks. I'm talking to Dr. Ulia Cauldron here at the Hazelton Wellness Center, and we're talking about varicose veins. There is a Brand new, not a brand new procedure, but a procedure now that is doing extremely well for those of you who have varicose veins. And as you all know, folks, uh, for you who have them, you know they, they're not the pleasant, uh, you know, sight. And it, it troubles you sometimes because you can't put that bathing suit on and you can't enjoy what you like to enjoy. Uh, men who suffer from them, now we have a cure for that, about a 95% success rate. 25 million Americans suffer from this. And so Dr. Uh, Ulio um, here at uh, the, the Wellness Center does extremely well with uh, taking care of that. So uh, doctor, once again, let's talk about for a review, what is a, a varicone ve vein? Uh, it's, it's a vein disease, right? Yes. So varicose veins uh, are uh, under the vein disease, they are caused by venous insufficiency. It's one of the part of uh, venous problems. The venous problem can be from clots in your veins to swelling on the legs and developing on these big veins, bulgy veins, or even spider veins. And that's part of the treatment we're gonna uh, attack at this, uh, in this, uh, at, the, at the office with this new procedure. Uh, Varicose veins are caused when your legs, uh, the veins get swollen, the, the, the veins have valves inside and they can be defective with time. And there's a new procedure that we can use to treat those defective veins and it just requires a study of a venous ultrasound and then we can assess if you're, you will benefit from the procedure in the office. So what you do is you come in, okay, you call the number, Call in for consultation, and then you, you'll come in and you have... Now, you said about when you do your ultrasound, you want to make sure there's no blockage, okay? Yes, so we want to make sure that before you go to treat your varicose veins, that your arterial system is good and you don't have PAD or PVD. If you have PAD, that's a, that's a contraindication to do the laser treatment in your veins. So we have to... We need to have a good exam of your legs to make sure that you don't have any blockage in your arteries. All right. Once that's done, and you know that it's okay, so then we, you know, you saw some, you, you saw some before and afters, and we showed them to you again. Um, you know, the procedure is how long does it take to, for the procedure? It can take from 15 to 30 minutes. It's it just a simple painless. Procedure. Painless. We're gonna. You're gonna have some pins uh, and needles that when we inject the, yeah. the lidocaine, but it's Not just relatively issue. painless. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for five years already. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And 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 I'm sure. I'm sure if we have testimonials here, folks, I, I'm sure we could have a number of people. Who, am I correct? Yes. That have been very happy with this procedure. Yes. Okay. And what did they tell you? Well, they're, they're happy that they don't have the big bulging veins, and uh, most of them, you, you have to realize that it, the procedure may require multiple therapies. First is treating the main vein, if you need to, and then some sclerotherapy or different procedures to decrease the size of your veins or what you don't like in your, in your veins. Yeah, so, uh, and some of the ages you've been doing? Oh, I've been doing from the 20s to the 75, 76. Now, and what, and I mentioned about it. So uh, primarily, it's it's is 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 middle aged people, right? That yes. yeah, okay. But now there's some young people that yes. have varicose. Yes. And is that genetic? Yes, that's a genetic predisposition that you you can have a uh, weak in your veins in your, the valves of the veins that can develop in bulging veins, and that we can correct with the endovenous laser therapy. Well, you know, you know, it's interesting, doctor. Uh, I know there's, I know there's many people out there today who have varicose vein problems, and uh, some of them just are, are used to living with it. Okay, mm -hmm. you really don't have to live with it, do you? You don't have to live with it. You just need to have a full exam, and if you're a candidate, we'll be happy to help you with. What you. about insurance? Most of this procedure is covered by most insurance. Uh, we have to document and do the full exam in order to be able to to justify that you are a candidate for the procedure. And you know, it's it's also for your health as well. Yes. Uh, 
you don't have to suffer, you don't have to have the swelling, the achy legs, and some people can have venous ulcers, and we can help up uh, the cure rate of those ulcers by treating the venous insufficiency. Well, you know, uh, I, I've said this so many times, doctor. Um, you know, when I had you on the show, originally we talked about you and why you became a doctor and, and uh, what you're doing is. And folks, I'm gonna tell you this. I, I, you know, I've been saying this since 1994. When you check out the quality of doctors and the medical people we have in the greater Hazleton area, you're gonna find out they're second to none, and I mean that. This man here comes highly recommended. I've known of many people who, have, who he has performed surgeries on, and uh, as well as the great staff that they have at the Hazleton Wellness Center and the Alliance. Uh, we have great doctors, and, and we're very happy to have you and your wife in our area. Thank you. I mean, you could have gone anywhere in the country, and you have an excellent reputation, and we're very proud of that, doctor. Thank you. Uh, for information on varicose veins, just get information, folks. That's all you have to do. They have nice brochures. You know, you can come up to the Wellness Center, get one, and, and check it out. And you'll find that there are many people out there that had that procedure, correct, yes. Doctor? Yes. Who are very happy today, okay? I'm Sam LaSant, and you're watching The Sam LaSant Show.